We're bringing the mayor right now, New York City Mayor Eric Adams. Mayor Adams, thanks for joining us. What's the latest on the manhunt? Uh, we're still active. I was briefed early this morning uh, by our team. And we're asking all New Yorkers if they see something, not only say something, but do something, and that's notify uh, the local authorities or call our tip hotline. Do you believe the shooter acted alone? As of this time, we don't have any evidence uh, that would tell us that anyone participated with him. So at this time, uh, based on the preliminary investigation, we believe he was alone. We heard Amy talk about that suggestion for metal detectors in the subway. Is that inevitable? Yeah, it's, it's not the traditional metal detectors that you see at airports. Uh, technology has advanced so much. And when you think about it, George, we have not advanced with technology uh, for the cities. Uh, when it comes down to protecting citizens better. And I'm open to all technologies. I sent my deputy mayor of public information uh, to go to several uh, conventions that look at the various new technologies, and there's a new method that can detect weapons that are not the traditional metal detectors that you see at airports. You don't even realize it's there, and we're going to look and explore these measures. You've already doubled the number of police officers patrolling the subways. What more can you do? Well, it's a number of things. You know, I say over and over again, there are many rivers that feed the sea of violence, and we have to dam each one. And, you know, I think big cities all across America that are witnessing these increasing gun violence and the overproliferation of guns. Uh, George, we removed 1,800 guns off the street uh, during my time as mayor in a little over three months, yet they continue to flow. And this is what we're seeing all across our country. Uh, we have to dam that river. We need to bring on a new ATF head that the uh, president announced two days ago. Uh, we must outlaw ghost guns. Uh, we saw a young 16-year-old child was killed by a ghost gun here in uh, the Bronx, New York. And so it's about damming each river to stop the flow of violence, the sea of violence in our, in our cities and in our country. More than two dozen people injured in that terrifying rampage. Have you had any contact with the victims? I reached out yesterday at the hospital. There were only four remaining in the hospital. Uh, I'm going to speak with them this morning. It was late once I finished up, and I didn't want to interrupt them. They were resting, uh, but I will be communicating with the victims this morning. Thank goodness only four remaining in the hospital. But as you know, Mr. Mayor, the entire city is on edge right now. We've seen uh, that scare in Times Square the other night. We saw the rampage in the subway yesterday. What's your message for New Yorkers? Well, listen, we, we believe that we have started building uh, the foundation to deal with the historical issues that, number one, feed violence in our city. Uh, we have failed so many ways and so many generations. And just listen to that uh, video, you hear someone saying at his age he was angry, and that anger is being played out. It was amplified after COVID. Uh, many people are dealing with a state of despair. This is a moment of healing, and New York is good at doing that. As you alluded to, uh, during the time uh, when this incident took place, New Yorkers uh, stepped up and assisted each other. Our first responders, our firefighters, our health officials. Uh, this is a moment New Yorkers are going to come together and we're going to zero in on these acts of violence and make this city the safe city that we know it can become. Mayor Adams, thanks for your time this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.